Decolonization and Beginning of Globalization Decolonization After the end of the Second World War, many Asian and African countries became independent. These countries however emerged poor as these countries were exploited by colonial powers. The World Bank and the IMF began to shift their focus towards the development of newly independent nations. However, many Western nations also secured the rights to exploit the natural resources of the poor countries and further exploited them. Many developing nations did not benefit from the rapid growth of the Western nations, and thus, they organized themselves into a group of 77 or G77 to demand a new international economic order, NEO, which could also protect their trading interests in the long term. By NIEO, the third world countries aimed for a system that will give them a control over their own natural resources, development assistance, fairer prices for raw materials and a better access of their goods in the markets of the developed countries. Beginning of Globalization Because of the rising costs of goods, the US dollar began to depreciate. This led to the collapse of fixed exchange rates, when the rates of exchange are fixed and the government interferes in the system to keep them fixed, and the introduction of floating exchange rates. The rates are not fixed as they fluctuate depending on the demand and supply of currencies in the foreign markets. The government does not control the rates. The developing countries were forced to borrow money from the Western commercial banks and private lending institutions. This increased debt traps, poverty and lower incomes in borrowing countries. As the costs of running production and labor became expensive in the Western nations, these countries began to shift their center of production to the Asian and African nations. The collapse of the Soviet Union brought many socialist countries into the world economic fold. Because the wages of workers were extremely low in China, many traders and businessmen set up their industries there. The shifting of industries to low-wage countries resulted in larger trade and flow of capital from the developed to the developing nations. Many countries such as China, India, Brazil and the Philippines have seen rapid economic construction and transformation.